Hey YouTube, this is Game at King one one seven seven, and today I'm going to show you to take take apart an Xbox three sixty wireless controller. Uh, the tools you need is a Torx T eight security screwdriver. You can get them from anywhere from like a dollar to like five, so it's really not that expensive. So then, what you need to do is that screwdriver. You need to unscrew it, all the seven screws. And in case you didn't um, know, there's this screw right underneath this, the barcode. Right, um, where you put the battery back. So then once you take out all those screws, um, lay it face down with the buttons, you know, face down. Or else if you go this way, the buttons and all that stuff will go flying out. So I'll go this way. And I just put my fingers between that and pops right out. Then what I do is I grab the top where you can put the um, plain charge kit in there. And I just Yank it forward and it pops right out. Then take off the bottom piece. Just I go on one side each and just pop them up and it's off. And then to get the buttons off, it's really easy to take off these little pads. Oh and this one's connected right here, so you, I don't want to be careful, I don't want to yank it out, you rip this little piece off. And then what I do is I don't know, I just catch them so they don't, they don't go everywhere. And the bumpers and the sync button, I guess, just falls off, but if it doesn't for you, all you simply do is just kind of push it back, and that should come off. And then to take the bumpers off, um, right here is where they're connected. So what I do is I put my thumb right here, and I put my other finger pushing against this way. I push up, and um, it should come off, but if it's a little stiff, you might want to do it on both sides and it'll come off. Then, to take off the um, little sync button, black ring right here, all you gotta do is, is put the um, controller face to you and push down on it, and it pops right off. And then to take the D-pad off, I don't have the tools with me right now, but you need like two small plus head screwdrivers, and then you or this one, and you take those screws out. And then once you screw those out, there's two little notches in there, if you can see it or not. You, you're going to need, like, two small, like, I don't know, screwdrivers or rods or whatever. You push those two together, and then you um, push um, you push this down, and then this will pop off. So there you go. That's how you take apart. Oh, I forgot. Let me just pluck these off. You want to take those off. And then for the triggers, all you gotta do is push this to the left and down. And then all you gotta do is just push this forward. And you might want to catch the spring. And then you just take it off just like that. Do this. And then, okay, let's do one more. Then to take the um, bump rumble pads off, you just gotta grab the edges of it and pull, and it comes right off. Do the same for the other side, and there you go. And that's how you completely take apart an Xbox 360 controller. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, just um, comment in the comment box below, and please, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.